The Nippon Sanso Holdings Group continues to contribute to all industries with innovative gas solutions. Today, we will provide you with detailed information about our core industrial gas business. Our industrial gas business manufactures and sells a variety of gases, including oxygen, nitrogen, argon, carbon dioxide, hydrogen, and helium. Air-separated gases, which are gases that are separated from the air and manufactured by our group, compose approximately one-third of our total sales. Typically, the term air-separated gases refers to oxygen, nitrogen, and argon. These products are produced by separating them from the atmosphere, using the different temperatures of their respective boiling points. Our business uses the atmosphere that surrounds us as a raw material and returns the gases to the atmosphere after use. In this video, we will focus on air-separated gases and explain their characteristics and some of the more common applications. Let's start with oxygen. Oxygen, which makes up about 20% of the atmosphere, increases the susceptibility of substances to burn, meaning that it facilitates or helps the process of burning. This characteristic, which is widely applied in steel and many other industries, increases combustion efficiency when melting raw materials, such as iron or glass, by blowing oxygen into them, enabling the manufacturing process to use less fuel or energy. In addition, oxygen is also commonly used in the medical field for inhalation purposes, so oxygen has a broad spectrum of application. Next, let's take a look at nitrogen. Nitrogen is found in about 80% of the atmosphere and is the opposite of oxygen in that it does not react chemically at room temperature or low temperatures and it does not easily combine with other substances. Because of these properties, nitrogen is widely used to maintain quality in the food industry by preventing oxidation. Oxidation in the case of food deteriorates the quality or freshness. Therefore, Using nitrogen in food packaging enables prolonged freshness in foods such as snacks and meats. Nitrogen also contributes to sustainability initiatives since it extends the freshness of food and reduces food spoilage and waste. Finally, let's look at argon. Argon is a scarce and precious gas, comprising only about 1% of the atmosphere. Its name originates from Greek and means lazy or inactive. As its name implies, argon is not a very active or reactive gas and is even more inert than nitrogen. Because of these special properties, argon is used in semiconductor manufacturing processes. Silicon wafers for semiconductors are made by thinly slicing ingots, which are cylindrical blocks of silicon. In order to manufacture ingots, a process is required in which seed crystal silicon rods are attached to the liquid surface of the molten silicon and pulled up. Since this process takes place in a very high temperature environment, argon is used to prevent reactions with impurities. Each gas possesses distinct properties and is therefore used in different applications. In other words, our company creates new applications that utilize these attributes without being restricted by a specific industry, thus expanding the range of use for these gases in both the medium and long term. Here is a summary explanation of our industrial gas supply modes. There are three types of supply options, on-site, bulk, and packaged each with specifications tailored to the needs of our customers. The first is the on-site option. For customers in industries such as steel, petrochemicals, and petroleum refining, which use large volumes of gas, we supply gases directly from our plants to our customers via pipeline. The on-site option is recommended when large volumes of gas are required in the manufacturing process and by locating our production plant either at or close to our customer's location by a pipeline, a large volume of gas is delivered reliably and cost-effectively. Next, let's look at the bulk supply. Of the three types of supply, the bulk option is used by customers in the automotive, shipbuilding, construction machinery, and other processing and assembly industries, as well as in the semiconductor, solar cell, liquid crystal panel, and other electronics industries, hospitals, 
food and beverage, glass, and paper manufacturing, and many other industries. These customers use the second largest volume of gas after on-site supply customers. We use tank lorries to deliver gas in its liquid form to each customer. The product is delivered to a tank at the customer's site. The tank is sized for maximum delivery and manufacturing efficiency. It's delivered in a liquid form because it is the most cost and delivery efficient manner of transportation. Depending on the customer application, the customer will either use it in a liquid form or vaporize the liquid and use it in a gas form. Last but not least is the packaged gas option. Packaged gases are suitable for customers such as construction sites and facilities that use small quantities of gas such as factories and hospitals, life sciences such as public health, medical facilities, and research and development. Gas products are transported via truck in cylinders filled with high-pressure gases. Packaged gases are suited for small-scale, low-volume use customers, and it allows for easy transport, movement, and delivery. We produce and sell these air-separated gases in Japan, the US, Europe, and Asia Oceania and deliver them from our plants in each of these regions through the most suitable supply system to meet the needs of our customers. We hope that this overview has provided you with a better understanding of industrial gases and their main supply modes. As industrial gas professionals, we are committed to making broad contributions to the development of industries around the world and creating a sustainable society for the future. To achieve this, we will continue to develop our customer-oriented business in a flexible, efficient, and effective manner in every region in which we operate. <laughs>